guys, it's JDL. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to our first rebuild of NBA 2K22. Now, 2K has definitely changed up the rebuild mode quite a bit, so it seems. So the first rebuild of the year we're gonna do, we're gonna do a team, the Atlanta Hawks. Now, you know, while I'm going through these menus, figuring out the new menus, all the new jazz, uh, I think, so the game just came out. We're gonna auto-generate rookies for this rebuild. Okay, so, trading block. Team status. Trey Young is happy with how things are going. That's awesome. So, uh, most of the menu looks pretty similar. I know 2K did put an emphasis on staff. If you watched my suggestions video for next year, that was actually something I kind of wanted a little bit. So that's pretty cool to see. I like the way they've overhauled the menu. It definitely looks a lot more like a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet now with how, every how thin everything is. To be honest with you guys, I kind of like it. I like that you can see a lot more happening at the same time. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, it's nice, it's nice. I honestly already kind of forget what happened on the last years. It's so weird. I've done it so many times, but they've changed it. All right, so let's talk about the Atlanta Hawks because it seems like everything is roughly the same here. You know, they say they changed a lot. It looks pretty much the same to me. Obviously, there's some deeper stuff with the staff and all that. Coaching, training, player mentorship. This was already in the game, of course. Individual training, player development. So a lot of this was already in the game, I swear. Load management. Okay, so there's a little bit more to it. I still think you're probably going to be able to just play through the game as fast as you want, but all right, so let's do let's do the Hawks. Let's do the Hawks. So starting lineup, Trey Young, Bogdanovich, Hunter, John Collins, and Capella. Honestly, this team is pretty saucy, as is. Like, you've got Gallinari coming off the bench. Honestly, hmm. I think Gallon, well, can Collins, how is Collins shooting? Collins is a B plus three, honestly. I mean, honestly, it's hard to know what this team really, really needs. I feel like this team would benefit from like another super studly like ball handler to get the pressure off of Trey Young. Just cause Trey Young, like they kind of run the like, Trey Young does everything offense. I don't really see a trade that I feel like is like necessary, necessary right now. Like this sounds weird, but like, like some sort of like kinda, like just a like a, a, an ISO guy, like a Tatum or something like that would be kind of nice on this team. So let's just, let's do something crazy here. Let's um trade finder for Jimmy Butler. Oh, they only want Trey Young. Okay. <laughs> like Brandon Ingram, low key. Like I don't really like Brandon Ingram myself. Oh, I don't want to give up Capella, but I don't know. I feel like if the Hawks had a guy who had a little bit more ISO ability, that would be nice. Although in the playoffs, I gotta say, I didn't watch a ton of the Eastern Conference Finals, but I did watch a lot of that Philly series. And dude, Herder, Bogdanovich, they can hit some shots. All right, so let's just sim. Let's see how the game handles the Hawks for now. I don't, I don't really know what trades to make. I'm gonna go until the trade deadline and see how we are. All right, so while it's simming, I'm sure you guys, uh, it doesn't show your team record anymore on the sim screen. I don't, not a big fan of that change, but power rank and conference rank, we're, we're number one. So this might be literally the easiest rebuild of all time. I might, I might not touch this team and we might just win the whole thing. I'm getting a lot of trade offers for Clint Capella and I've been offered quite a few good players, including Clay Thompson, but I just don't want to trade Clint Capella. I feel like, you know, having that big rim running center next to Trey Young on the pick and roll, Super vital. So yeah, we're just gonna keep simming until the trade deadline. I wish I could see our record. It looks like we have like an insane record based off just looking at the calendar. But yeah, so far impressions of the new rebuild mode, it, it's kind of the same, but like a little bit different, if that makes sense. Like overall feels very similar, but there's a few small things definitely would change. Like I, I, they definitely should put your team record back on this screen somewhere. That would be nice to know. Maybe it'll show it when this is done. Nope, it doesn't show it. So uh, we look like a stud muffin of a team. My staff. So here's the new staff menu. All right, uh, GM user. Yep, department over you. We have two stars for coaching, one star for scouting, a half star for medicine, and a five star for front. Okay, our, our coach can't be that bad, bro. We're literally like the number one team. Coaching, why is our coach so bad? We have a shot doctor. Nick Van Exel is our shot doctor. We have a big man. We don't have a big man coach. We should hire a big man coach. Is there is there a big man coach in here? Foreign scout. Oh my God. There 2K needs a way to organize this more. This menu is a little, a little like what is happening right now. Big man coach, Dwight Butler. This guy has a bunch of badges. He's got good charisma. All right, this guy's got a little analytics to him. Elisha Bass? I, there's no photo of her. 
She's declined our offer. Okay, I don't really get the point of this, to be honest. So we're 48 and eight. The, the Nets are somehow only 36 and 20. Literally, y'all, this team is gonna be way better than 36 and 20 in real life. I'm gonna tell you right now. Portland's the number one team in the West. Dude, is there even a trade I should make? Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I, I feel like if I just sim and win this, that'd be kind of weird, but. All right, let's think about this. Cam Reddish, honestly, he had like one good playoff game and people are going crazy over this dude. This dude has not accomplished much. So I'm just gonna see what his value is. Ooh, okay. I don't know if I wanna give up Gallinari, but Kyle Lowry is a nice pickup. All right, I, you know, let's just sim. Let's just sim, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Seems like we're uh, pretty good. <laughs> All right, we finished the year the number one team, but Giannis is the MVP in my first ever sim of this year. Evan Mobley, rookie of the year. Andre Drummond, six man, okay. All right, we went 66 and 16. We we just bossed up that whole year. And somehow Trey Young did not make an all NBA first team, but Benjamin Simmons did. Okay, 2K. No all NBA teams for Trey Young. That has gotta be BS. Oh, what is this? Hello. Okay, I wish, I, I do wish you could zoom in. Oh, I guess it's because of the playing game. Okay, all right, that's kind of cool. 2K, I like that. Let's see how Trey Young did. I don't understand how he couldn't, uh... this dude averaged 20. 26, three, eight and a half on pretty good shooting, decent three point, pretty good three point shooting. Look, I'm not even a big Trey Young fan, but 2K is just doing our guy dirty here. This dude should have been first team. So let's simulate the play in. The Knicks go in the play in. So obviously in real life, the Hawks kind of spanked the Knicks last year. So let's just sim through this game by game. We'll show the Knicks enough respect to not simulate the round, but that was a cruise by. Wow, we have to play Brooklyn. Okay, that's no fun. Should I just sim? They take game one. We take two. They take three. They take four. I guess let's make a game plan. I don't even know what kind of game plan I could come up with against the Brooklyn Nets. Like, I'm surprised they didn't just run away with this all. Yeah, I'm just gonna have us crash the glass and just hope that works. Hey, that worked in that game. That worked in that game. That worked! Yes, we are in the conference finals. We're going against the Sixers. Okay. Benjamin Simmons, trash ass. Dude, I, I used to be a big Ben Simmons fan. Look at me, bro. He, he's been making me mad in real life, bro. On ball pressure, we're gonna give him a gap. We're gonna give him a gap. We are going to play a lot of help defense because they don't have a lot of shooting. We are going to definitely do some lineup performance against the Sixers. We are definitely going to protect the paint against this team. And uh, let's see how we do. Game one is us. Game two is the Sixers. Game three is us. Game four is the Sixers. Game five is the Sixers. It's going to game seven. Okay, looks like the Simcast is the same as it was. This is back and forth. Very close, very, very close. I think we got it. I think we got it, we got it. We're going to the NBA Finals. Dang, the Atlanta Hawks in the NBA Finals. I mean, honestly, I, I can't even call it that crazy. The Hawks literally, they what? They think they took the Bucks to five or six last year. Hawks definitely proved me wrong. I was a bit of a skeptic before last year, but can't be a skeptic anymore. And according to 2K, they're gonna go to the finals this first year. Going against the Clippers. Let's see if the Clippers made any changes to their lineup. Doesn't look like it. I also, I, know, I like this. This is a nice menu. Okay. All right, I don't really know what I should do against the Clippers, honestly. In real life, my game plan against the Clippers would be like, just, I don't know, just make them play a lot of iso ball because they just don't have a lot of playmaking. Yeah, let's just keep crashing the glass. I feel like that was working for us. So here we go. We take game one, two, three. Oh no. Yes! <laughs> I didn't even do anything. I made I made like three game plans and we, we won. Awesome. Okay, that that was so weird. I dude, I swear 2K is like biased toward your team in the sim engine. I don't know. Maybe the Hawks are just raw like that. Maybe we're just raw like that. League meetings. Let's see if um 2K added any new ones. Lottery. There's a lot. Oh, you could change the shot clock rule back. Okay, kind of like that. I don't know if I like the 14 second. Oh, I guess the four. You guys like the 14 second rule? I, I guess I like it. It's a good rule. Ooh, lane violation changes. Okay, so I don't know if any of these are new because I actually never went through it last year, but cool. Draft lottery. Here we go. 
the Sacramento Kings with the number one pick. See if the NBA draft was overhauled at all. All right, with the 30th pick, we will take, this guy's got four badges, why not? Chuck Mack, an overseas stash. We'll see if those are still OP in this year's 2K. Sometimes they could be OP in the past. George Griffin, an 83 overall rookie. Holy cow. Oh, our guy's a 75 overall. Nice. Okay, so we'll bring back everybody. God, the Hawks actually have nice depth at a lot of positions. Oddly enough, I feel like the one position they need better depth at is point guard, but Trey, like in playoff games, is gonna play like 42, 44 minutes a game anyway, it seems like, so I guess it's not a huge deal for them. To announce the rights to Lou. Definitely gonna try to bring back Herder and DeLon Wright. What is this? What am I looking at? Who are these absolute studs? I think these are, are these G, are these the best players in the G League? Who are these people? All right, doesn't look, I don't know what I just saw. Doesn't look like any of these teams signed any of those. I, I feel like I don't really understand what I just looked at. I'm so confused. All right, player progression, Gallinari got worse. Most of the team didn't really change much. Our bench got a lot better. Okongwu, I feel like is gonna be pretty nice in real life. I do wanna say that. Capella, Collins, Trey Young. Trey Young just looking like a stud. No training camp. I think that's because we don't have any of those assistant coaches. I think without the assistant coaches, you can't really get the training camps, if I were to guess. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna run back the same team from last year. Really no reason not to. The only thing is I'll just run a nine-man rotation instead of a 10. Just makes sense with the players we have. Yeah, I'm just gonna center the trade deadline again. I guess we're gonna run, we're gonna see if we can run it back to back. I feel like I didn't do shit last season. I literally just simmed it and we won the title. I, I made like two game plans. I, I, I'm just gonna keep saying I made two game plans so I give myself some credit for our championship, even though I feel like I don't deserve it. <laughs> I didn't even hire any coaches. In fact, we lost a coach while I was here. As a GM, I feel like I've been literally like an abject failure so far, but somehow we just like stumbled face first into a championship. So yeah, I don't know. Let's uh, keep on simulating. I'll see y'all at the trade deadline. Okay, once again at the trade deadline, it looks like we are just having an amazing record. We were 42 and 14. Wow, Brooklyn, did they lose? They they didn't lose anybody. Harden is a 92 overall. Is he just declining? What's going on with James? Damn, this team is stacked. Cleveland is big man cheesing again. Interesting, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna see if I can trade Reddish again, I guess. Like, I don't really know what to do. We just keep winning. I'm really curious, like, if I start a franchise mode with a different team, if the Atlanta Hawks will, like, win the championship in that or not. I am not getting any good trade offers here. Kevin Porter is an interesting one, but I don't want to give up Bogdanovich, so. Once again, I'm just not even gonna touch this team. We're just gonna send to the end of the season, and I'll see you guys in the playoffs, I guess. I, I, I don't really have any trades to make. Hey, so Trey Young with the MVP, 35, 31 points, 10 assists, good shooting numbers. George Griffin, that stud rookie, rookie of the year. Kelly Olynyk, six man. Giannis, defensive player, okay, okay. All NBA first team looking nice. We are once again the one seed, so we'll see who wins the playoff tournament. The Detroit Pistons, okay. Cade Cunningham, Marcus Smart, Sadiq Bey, Jeremy Grant, Nurkic, okay. It's an interesting team. I'm pretty sure we're gonna destroy them, so I'm gonna simulate the round. And we beat them 4-2. Philadelphia, okay, one to one, two to one. Two to two. Philly is playing us close. I mean, in real life, this did go to seven, and Philly definitely could have won that game if Ben Simmons didn't Ben Simmons, but he did. And so, we destroy them in game seven. Uh, that wasn't even close. Going against Milwaukee. Okay, what happened to Brooklyn? Bro, how is Brooklyn keep getting like the five seed? Right, I feel like 2K just, they did overhaul the mode, but I feel like the biggest issue with the rebuild mode is just the simulation engine is just not, I don't know, man. It just, I don't know. I just, I just feel like the simulation engine is just valuing big men way too much. Like, I'm just so like, how is this team the five seed, right? Like, I don't know. Doesn't make any sense to me. We are going against Milwaukee Talkies. They got Reggie Jackson. They lost Drew Holiday. Or did he get worse? No, they just lost Drew Holiday. This is an interesting team. Let's just make a quick game plan and uh, let's destroy these fools. I don't know why I said it like that. That was weird. Gap up on Giannis. Yeah, Milwaukee is definitely a tough team. Um, we don't really have a good answer for Giannis. They did not in real life. And uh, in the game, it did not matter. So that's what's weird about 2K, right? Is like Brooklyn, the five seed with Durant at the four, not very good. Milwaukee, the three seed, Giannis at the four, 
not very good. Philly, good center, goes like that. But then in the West, Denver loses to Minnesota, who has Towns, who would be considered good. But then Zion is really good in the sim. I don't know. I feel like the thing with 2K is it's these players like Zion who literally, like, look at this shot chart. He only shoots in those zones by the basket. Like, that's the only place he shoots. Like, I just, I'm just gonna out of curiosity see what Giannis' shot, shot chart looks like. He's shooting a lot from like all over the floor. And then on our team, John Collins, he's shooting from all over the floor too. Capella, Capella only shooting at the rim. I don't know, I don't get it, I don't get it. All right, the Grizzly Grizz, let's see who they got. They got John Morant, Reggie Bullock, Brooks, Jaron, Jonas. It's a very good team. Low key kind of reminds me of the Hawks. You got the star point guard, you got the stud muffin, Power forward, we got Collins, they got Jaron, and a, just a solid center. Valanchunas and Capella, just solid centers. Let's just see how we do this game. I think we're the better team, honestly. Two to one, two to two, three to two, three to three. It's going to the NBA Finals. It, we're already in the NBA Finals. Guys, it's late. It's the, it's late. It's late. Cut me some slack. Um, I think we're going to win. Yeah, we are going to win. Wow, okay. Back to back, I've made no roster moves. I have done absolutely nothing, but here we are. Back to back champions. <laughs> Interesting, okay, cool. So I feel like we've had a good look at the mode. Uh, we won some championships, albeit by not doing anything. I might do some experimenting just a little bit. Just curious what's going on with the game. I don't know. I, I feel like the sim engine is just not good. I'm just gonna say it. I just feel like the game is not simulating the NBA very well. I feel like the sim engine is just out of date for how the NBA is played. I don't know. Overall, I'm really happy to see 2K is changing things, but there's definitely some uh, oversight, like the record not showing on the calendar view, all that, but glad there's a new 2K. I'm having fun with it. I like the new graphics package and all that. So yeah, more rebuilds will be coming. I will definitely actually make trades and future rebuilds. Uh, that's, that's for sure. This one, we literally didn't need to. Uh, I'm gonna rebuild all 30 teams guys probably gonna do about two normal team rebuilds a week maybe one maybe two and we're gonna see if we can rebuild all 30 teams again like last time i did rebuilding a lot on the channel so hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you're enjoying nba 2k22 subscribe for more rebuilds where we're actually gonna make some trades and i hope you all have a great day peace